because that's what we do when we get a good laugh track going. When everybody gets to step right into it, and we're going to keep it going. Ladies and gentlemen, next coming to the stage is a surprise to the show, and I like surprises. And I've never seen his set, but that's okay, because he's here with us now, ex sharing in our experience. Nice, warm welcome for Stefan, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi, everybody. So glad to join you here, being, being in the buff and the nude. I'm sure there's a bunch of slang that you guys, you hip kids, are all used to. <laughs> it was very, very difficult to follow Kristen here. I did have the opportunity to go to the wedding that she spoke about, and it ended with me standing in front of the groom and the bride's father to make sure that they didn't beat the shit out of each other. <laughs> it was a beautiful, classic Ohio moment, Cincinnati to the T. There's nothing to do there. It makes a lot of sense. But there's a lot of things like habits that make sense when you're feeling a bit blue, when you're a bit depressed. One of those crimson flags, if you would, would be eating ice cream with a fork. Nope. You should really call a friend if you eat ice cream with a fork. <laughs> <laughs> the smaller the fork, the bigger the problem. Please seek help. <laughs> they have 24-hour suicide hotlines. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, other eating habits you may be on the lookout for include adding granola to pasta with pesto. Oof. Surprisingly tasty. Surprisingly tasty. Great texture. Communicates to the outside world that you're dead on the inside. And uh, you get the sad toast, which is just the bread with the jam on top. If you see a friend eating the sad toast, it's untoasted toast. Please reach out to them. Tell them that they're not alone. There's hope in the world. There is a tomorrow. It gets better. Uh, I was so fortunate to move with Kristen here and be her roommate. I get the bottom bunk, which is the best bunk because uh, I can move around and not worry about being moved around and also advertise to everybody that I am aggressively single as well. <laughs> I mean, do you want to explain the logistics to a hookup that, you know, we can try on the bottom bed, but you're I'm going to need your help pulling out the mattress and putting it on the floor. <laughs> it's, um, I've done a lot of terrible things, including that. <coughs> um, I've once snuggled with very sharp toenails and gave a staph infection as a result. Oof. <laughs> right? I've, um, I've hooked up with an ex, and my gift to him was the guns. <laughs> it was the first time I had an STD in about 12 years. Right? Such a comfortable subject to talk about. Get tested every month, guys. Every three months depends. I wanna, I wanna leave by saying one of the last horrible things that I did was mistake my dog's nipple for a tick. <laughs> Poor dog. He let me know after one attempt that we no longer have that close relationship where he can come to me unconditionally and give me love <laughs> without the fear of having his nipple lanced off. But that comes from the hazards of living on a mountain uh, about a mile high up. There's a lot of ticks, a lot of deers, and um, a lot of loneliness and depression that leads to eating ice cream with a fork. <laughs> so again, please do reach out to your loved ones, even if you don't love them, if you see them with odd eating habits. Thank you. Stefan, ladies and gentlemen, keep it going for Stefan. <laughs>